How have you been able to deal with no's? Specifically being let down. I have been let down many times. Uh, by a lot of people that I thought were supposed to stand by me. Plenty of them. But uh, one of the things that I will teach you is uh, you have to be, you have to understand that for every vision that you have, for every calling that you have on your life, it is not based on people. God can never call you and base your calling on other people. God can never give you a vision and then say that vision is stuck on someone else so that you have to be at all times as you drive this vision you have to be checking what this person will be saying that vision is not your vision if it is really your vision if that vision is really on your life the gifts the main gift that drives that vision should be on your life the um uh, the critical knowledge that should drive that vision should be on your life as well. And uh, the, 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 the wisdom that is needed to make sure that this vision... So, so, so basically what I'm saying is the, 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 the most important things that drive any vision should be on the visionary. So when God calls you and says you're going to do something else, it cannot be based on other people. So if you know that, it's easier for you when people then don't stand with you and don't support you. It's easier then to say, it's okay. Thank you, Lord, for these people that you gave me. Now that they have left, I'm still going where I'm supposed to go. The vision is still on me. The calling is still on my life. The gifts are still on my life. So I'm st I still have to go on with my life. I still have to go on and push this vision until I get to the end of it. Along the way, if you read your Bible, you discover the stories of Paul and so forth. Paul writes on one verse, he says, Anadimas varansia. But Paul kept on driving. The vision was on him, not on Demas. And I want you to know that there are people that are going to leave your life. Not necessarily because they are bad people or they are not supportive of your vision. No. But because the part that they were supposed to play in that vision is over. And when God says it's over, you still have to move on. And you still have to love those people and relate to those people. When I was starting ministry, there was a book that I read that was written by Joyce Mayer. And uh, she said, as I started ministry, there was uh, a certain pastor that, he, that she worked with uh, for about five years or so. And then finally, uh, she, God said, now you're moving into TV ministry and radio ministry. And she says, it was the most difficult time of my life to part ways with this, with this pastor with this pastoral family. We had worked together. We had started from five members. Now the church was, it had grown to about a thousand so people. And God was saying to me, now it's, it's, it's time for you to move on. We had meshed together as we were growing up. It's possible that there are people that you love so much and you're expecting that they will stand with you, they will support you because they have stood with you or they've been there for you and you, you have leveraged your vision or your plan on their lives. I want you to know, God will allow those people to leave or God will allow you to leave them. And if you leave them or if they leave you, whichever way it is, you have to understand that life goes on and the vision goes on. The plan of God is still has to be fulfilled. Things that are supposed to be done will still have to be will still have to be done. For us preachers, the people that you're still supposed to minister to are still out there. The, the those that still need to receive Christ are still out there. And you still have to go out for them and pick them up and bring them to the Lord. Despite these people that have failed you. Despite these people that you thought would support you, would stand for with you, that would go. Allow them to leave. When you allow them to leave, you will discover certain things or certain aspects about God 
in your life that you never saw because certain people were there. So the people that are going to come and the people that are going to leave. But as people leave, I also want you to understand that there are people, that, there are other people that are still going to come again. So the vision continues. Jesus said, "Team, what you're doing, what you're doing, da. Vamos watch Zika, vamos watch Kuira. Chichi enda chet. That's how a vision is premised by God. But the driver of the vision is still the driver of the vision until the time, such a time that God then says, "You are supposed now to leave this vision, and somebody is supposed to take it, to 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 take it up and take it take it further." 